fake fuck I Cause I feel it, God, I'm not feeling I'm definitely, definitely, you know what's I Hey, what's Gucci guys? It's your boy SJ Kid out the first black super saiyan to ever arrive on this planet. <laughs> I'm back here with another video. We about to get into this SML movie, The Asteroid. We're gonna go ahead and knock this out. Going, we hope and hear the laugh. Shouts out Super Luigi Logan. Like, comment, and subscribe to your channel. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and knock this out. I got a discussion to do after this, or I might stream. I don't know. It's either or. Or I might record some gameplay and show y'all what's up. But let's go ahead and get into this ASAP now. Let's go. Calm down. Oh, Breaking news. Breaking news, okay? I want to watch TV. Hey, daddy. I'm going to hear What? Hey, it's got my remote. <laughs> <laughs> Took away my horn. Okay, I want to watch TV. Just calm down. <laughs> Breaking news. Okay. An asteroid is heading straight for Earth. It could kill all of us. Here's the astronaut Brooklyn T. Guy Missy. with a statement. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Brooklyn T. Guy. This guy does uh, every single job, bro. School. And uh, now I'm an astronaut for NASA. How do you like that, bitches? Yeah, I'm an astronaut. H how do you like that, Mrs. Leibowitz, my sixth grade science teacher? You said I wouldn't become anything when I was playing with my pencil, pretending it was a spaceship. But now look at me. I'm an astronaut. What are you doing? You're probably dead, you old hag. Uh, anyway, uh, on a more serious note, uh, there was a very large asteroid headed toward Earth. Uh, it, it's very big. It's about the size of my ex-wife. Uh, if you haven't seen my ex-wife, I, I, I really don't know how you couldn't. She, she is goddamn gigantic. She's, she's just, just fat. Uh, so it, it's a very, very large asteroid. If this asteroid actually hits Earth, we will all die. Everyone on the planet will be dead. It'll be just like the dinosaurs. But, but don't panic. We have a solution, okay? We're going to launch a nuke at the asteroid. And one of four things is going to happen, okay? The first option is that it breaks up the asteroid into millions of little pieces, and they burn up in the atmosphere. The second option uh, is that it will break the asteroid up into two medium-sized asteroids, and then we get DP'd and we're all dead. Uh, mm -hmm. The third option is that the nuke does absolutely nothing right. and we're all dead. Well, and the fourth something. option is that we just completely fucking miss. That the, 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 the nuke doesn't even hit the asteroid. We shoot it completely the wrong direction. We, just, we shoot the nuke with our eyes closed. We're, we're not even looking. We just launch it. So, obviously, we're hoping for the first option. And, uh... We're broadcasting this live, so uh, let's go watch this nuke. Oh my god, an asteroid! Oh, Jeffy, what are we gonna do? I hope that nuke stops it, oh my god! What's an asteroid, What's an asteroid, is it like a hammer? No, Jeffy, an asteroid is a rock, and if it hits the Earth, we're all gonna die. I can't believe this is actually happening. I don't believe this is actually happening. This has to be a prank or something. This has to be a prank. There's no way that we're actually die today. We might actually die today, oh my god. <laughs> Ow, Jeffy! She didn't hurt that bad, Daddy. Is that a potato? The asteroid is much bigger than that. Let's we'll, we'll, we'll just watch the TV is and see if they stop it. Is that a master? Is that a limp potato? Hey, that's CG, though. <laughs> okay, so uh, the nuke was a direct hit. We hit it perfectly right in the middle. It was a bullseye. Beautiful shot, really. Uh, nothing happened, though. Uh, apparently, this nuke was not big enough to break up this giant hole. asteroid. So uh, we have no way to wipe this asteroid out. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I made an ass joke. We're, we're all gonna die. Uh, oh, come on! Move come on, on that's funny. We're not dead yet. Uh, Alright, but seriously, uh, we have no way to wipe this ass. The <laughs> <laid>? <laughs> <laughs> I, I did it again. I, I did it. I did it again. Alright, you guys are no fun. Uh, so, you can start rioting and looting now, uh, because we have no hope, and I think we're all going to die, because we have no ideas. So, uh, goodbye. It didn't work! You oh my god, I'm rising and looting. That's oh, very what accurate. What do I do? Oh, oh my god, man. I'm about to go loot and riot. You wanna come? Black Yoshi, now is not the time to steal stuff. Oh, it's the perfect time to steal stuff. Ain't no one gonna be there, and ain't no one gonna stop. I don't like Black Yoshi's character anymore. I don't care if he's stereotyping. It's just that he's not funny, funny anymore. Me. It's the perfect time to get a big TV, a PS4, an Xbox, a boom box, a new chain, some fresh kicks. Boom, it's the perfect time. Black Yoshi, why would you need all that stuff if we're going to die anyway? Because I can look fly in heaven, folks. 
Fuck your shit, get your fool. Man, fool, man, forget you, fool. I'm gonna go loot right. See you later. Forget go, you, fool. I'm gonna loot right. Oh my god, there's gotta be an update or something. All right, everyone, we're here with Doctor Frederick Fingershits, and he's supposed to help us with this asteroid problem. Doctor Fingershits? Finger no, it is not Fingershits. It is Fingershits. I am Doctor Frederick Fingershits. Finkel. Oh, okay. Fickel shits. No, not Fickel. <laughs> Fickel no, shits. shits. Finkel shits. Like, like, a, like tingle, but with an F. All right, tickle shits. How about this asteroid problem? <laughs> it is Finkel shits. Finkel shits. It doesn't matter what your name is, Freckle shits. Just explain Freckle the asteroid shits. problem. It is Finkel shits for one. And secondly, I have several genius solutions to our asteroid problem. Okay, genius solution number one. We build a giant baseball bat, and then we step up to the plate, and we knock the asteroid out of the park. It is a win-win. All right, Freckle Shits, let me tell you the problem I have with this. That's a lot of wood for that big of a baseball bat. <laughs> <laughs> and what are the here, Freckle Shits? Mm, yes, yes. Oh, I see on. your point that, that would take a lot of wood and we are on a time crunch. So, genius solution number two. We make a giant trampoline. And then, when the asteroid comes to hit Earth, it hits the trampoline and it bounces off back to where it came from. <laughs> yes, yes, Earth is saved and the asteroid has a very good time. All right, well, I see that idea, too, uh, shitball. But the shit thing ball. is, is we're still running out of time, and that's a lot of material to use. Yes. Uh, yes, uh, okay. Okay, good point, good point. A lot point. of material, okay. bro. So, uh, genius solution. Huh? Number three. This is a... Where? Okay, I say we propose a game of rock, paper, scissors to the asteroid. The asteroid will obviously pick rock because it is made of rock, and we pick paper. Paper covers rock, we win, and the asteroid goes home. Shit, I mean, that's good I don't think that's a good idea there, Frankie Chance. Because I don't think the asteroid wants to play rock, paper, scissors, okay? And even if it did, that's a big that's piece black. of paper. Where are we going to get all that paper? We're going to run into the exact same problem as the baseball bat. <laughs> I see your point, you're right. Boys. And I'm all out of ideas and crayons. Yo, well, you, you couldn't make like a... Like if y'all look, his mustache goes into his mouth. A shrink ray for the asteroid? Can I make a shrink ray a for the asteroid? Yeah, yes, I, I could make a shrimp ray. I would do that. I would make a shrimp ray. Yes. Uh, uh, uh freckle shits? Did, did we lose him? A uh, freckle well, shit. Let's hope he can make a shrink ray for the asteroid. Okay, good. We can still survive. All, right. all the scientists have to do is shoot the meteor with a shrink ray, and it'll shrink it down really small, and then we'll all survive. There's still a chance. There's still a chance to survive. There's still a chance. Yeah. What the hell, Jimmy? What was that for? Oh, you wire fire rocks. Oh, that's a rock. Looks like a big rock. Potato. Oh, 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 the shrink ray. Tell him, Dr. Pimple Shits. It is finger shits. But yes, I have made the shrimp ray. I will now go outside and shrimp the asteroid with my shrimp ray. Well, then do it. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, asteroid. Prepare to get shrimp. <laughs> yes, take that. What the hell just happened? <laughs> I have done it. I have actually done it. I have turned the asteroid into a shrimp with my shrimp ray. Shrimp ray? Uh, we said shrimp ray, like to make smaller. Oh, oh, oh you wanted a shrimp ray. I, I, I thought you said a shrimp ray. I, I you you keep saying shrimp, bro. Huh? Into a shrimp. What? Why the fuck would we want that? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I was kind of questioning it myself, really, but. But I did it! I made the shrimp ray! And the asteroid is a shrimp now! Well, well, can you make a shrimp ray? No! No, that is impossible! What do you think this is? Some kind of cartoon? Oh, fuck. See, it appears that we are having some technical difficulties. Anyway, we, we now have astronaut Brooklyn T. Guy to explain to us this new shrimp problem. Hey there! So, you remember that asteroid that was going to slam into the Earth and kill us all? Well, it's now been transformed into a giant shrimp that's going to slam into the earth and kill us all. So we're not really sure how the asteroid got turned into a giant shrimp, but uh, that is now the problem. And if that shrimp collides with the earth, we will all die, uh, especially those of us who are allergic to shellfish, like, like myself. So uh, if you that's have any ideas on how bro, we can solve this shrimp problem, 
Uh, please, when please I give us a hurts, call. What? A giant please. shrimp? I survived and I can cook it. That looks really good. I know good, one bro. person who can fix this. <sighs> Woody. Is Woody. Uh, uh you, you, your shrimpiness? Bow me, Mario. Uh, Bow. Yes, sir. Mario! Can't you see I'm with my shrimpos? Uh, <laughs> yes, I can see that, but, but uh, the world needs your help. Ow, well, why'd you do that? That's an honor, Mario. If a shrimpo hunter hits you with his shrimpo, that's a high A shrimpo hunter, the hunter bro. The in danger. The world's always in danger, Mario. Okay, but this time, there's a, there's a giant shrimp coming towards Earth. How big is he? About the size of the planet. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll take you to NASA. That, that, that's the people who need your help. Alright, I'll take you to NASA, Mario. Breaking news, Gully. NASA has found a solution to the giant shrimp. Here's the astronaut Brooklyn T Guy from NASA. Okay, everybody, we finally have a solution for our a giant shrimp, shrimp problem. Uh, Woody from Toy Story here. Cheery boy! My name is Woody. Uh, yeah, yeah, he, he has a solution for how we're gonna fix this. Uh, Woody? All right, so now this is what we're going to do. They're going to put me in a rocket ship, and then they're going to blast me off into the outer space. Yeehaw, yes they are. Then, once we're out there in the outer space, I'm going to get out of my, of my little space pod, mm -hmm. and I'm going to sneak up on the shrimpo all, right. all nice and quiet-like. Yeah. And then I'm going to look at the shrimpo, uh -huh. and then I'm going to do the call. Shrimpo! Jesus! All right, then he'll get in his mating position, and then once he's in his mating position, I'm gonna pop up, and then I'm gonna gobble him up like. Uh, okay, 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 Woody, Woody. Yeah, Woody, I'm, I'm gonna stop you right there. Let me tell you why that's not gonna work. You why? Can't, you can't eat a shrimp the size of this planet. Oh, yes, I can. There was one time I ate one the size of your head there, little Send thing. him up there and let him okay, stop well, it, bro. That's my head. Just let him we're stop it, bro. Let him this try. Planet. I don't even care right, no more. Y'all gonna die. Okay, how you about might as well die, how about or you might as well let him you up send him up there and let him do it. And then you eat your way to the middle of the shrimp, and then you put a bomb inside and blow it up from the inside. Oh, get to the center of the shrimp hole like a titty pop. Y yeah, like like a, like a titty pop, sure. Oh, right. Here I'm always up for the challenge. All right, that sounds good. Okay, everybody, we're going to give him a $3 billion rocket oh, ship and just oh, see what he does. Kiwi boy! I'm ready to eat this shrimp out. Okay, everybody, as you see right here to the side of me, uh, Woody is in his rocket ship, and he's getting ready to fly up to the giant shrimp and then eat his way inside and plant a bomb inside of the shrimp and blow it up from the inside and save us all. Uh, I'll be honest, this is this is a one-way mission. He's probably not gonna be coming back. Uh, this is a sui um this is a this is a go to sleep forever mission. He's he's gonna commit not feel so good. Okay, he's gonna commit close his eyes forever. He's he's probably gonna die up there. So he, he is one brave cowboy. And if I were Andy, I probably would not have given him away to the little girl from Monster. You Zane. got a friend so, uh, in me. Let's launch this rocket. You got a friend in me. Come on, Woody. I'm you can do it. I'm on this big bastard. First I'm on the I'm on the I'm on the ship. I'm on the ship. I'm on the ship. I'm on the I'm on the I'm on the ship. I'm the ship. I'm I'm on the ship. I'm on the actually did it! The mission is a success! Woody successfully blew up the giant shrimp! We're all saved! Shrimp is raining down from the sky all over the world! But but let's not forget that brave cowboy that sacrificed his life for all of us. 
Woody's dead? Yes. Yes. He sacrificed himself to save all of us. Yes. Oh my god. Yes, he did. He my did. god. He did. He Woody, did. we'll always miss you. You'll be good. What? Woody? Ugh, I killed that big bastard. I killed that big bastard. What would you do if the world was ending? What I would do if the world is ending? Steal all the mac and cheese I can. Go to GameStop. Raid up. Stock up on all the uh, games I need. Handle my last days. And I'm set. There's another thing I would do. But I'm not going to say it because we are SJW. 2018 SJW and I cannot say it. There's something else I would do. But look, you guys, it's your boy, SJK. Sending out the first Black Super Saiyan to wherever I want to spend it. I want you guys to please have a very good day. SMO movie, The Asteroid. Um, as you can see, wasn't as funny. Uh, wasn't as funny. But hey, you know, as always, the next time, you know, they had um, Good Goodman. He was funny. Yeah. They had um, Woody, you know, Shrimpo. Um, they had um, Jeffy, you know. Should have had more Jeffy and Goodman in here, and I would have been um, satisfied. More Jeffy, more Goodman, less Black Yoshi, and I would have been okay. I would have probably laughed more. But hey, shouts out to Super Luigi Logan. You guys, um, you know, keep up the videos. Hey, uh, YouTube really screwed you guys over, and they messed up your quality of stuff, man. They screwed you guys over. YouTube, y'all tripping, bro. <laughs> y'all tripping, tripping. But you guys, look, have a very good day. Go spread some peace, love, and positivity. Your boy K-Dot sending out first black super saint to arrive on this planet. <laughs> What's good? Deuces.